In this algebra tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to solve these two logarithmic equations. The first one is log of ln of x is equal to 1. And for the second one, we have log of x times ln of x is equal to 1. Notice that they look similar, but of course they're different. The difference is that here we only have 1x. And then here we have 2x's, yeah? And then you see, this means x is inside of the natural log, and that's inside of the, the regular log. So let's solve this one first. And to do so, we have to know the base for this log first. And remember, when the number is not returned, it means that we have log base 10. And then let's just write down the rest. Now knowing the base, we can just go ahead and match the base and do 10. And match the base 10 to this power and then 10 to that power. So that this and that can cancel. And then we get ln of x is equal to 10 to the first power, which is 10. Now, what's ln? ln is also a log, log base e, right over there. So we can write this as log base e of x, and that's equal to 10, and do the same thing. e is about 2.718, right? So just do e to that power, e to that power, and then they cancel. And we're just going to write down x is equal to e to the 10th power, and that's it. Just like that. Now, take a look for the second one here. This is a multiplication of the first log base 10 of x, and then this is log base e of x, and all that. Yeah? So, what we want to do is, we want to make sure that they have the same base, and we can use the change of base formula. So, let me just remind you guys this right here. When we have log with any base b of x, this is the same as saying we can take the natural log and then do x first, and then divide it by natural log of b. And this is the change of base formula. So that you can see, we will just be working with ln. For this right here, again, this is log base 10, so we will change this part as log, or well, natural log of x over natural log of 10. And then we multiply that by ln of x, and that's equal to 1. Have a look. This time now we can multiply the ln 10 on both sides first because that's just like a number. So let's go ahead and do that ln 10. Multiply that and then let's also multiply that so that this and that cancel. And then ln x times ln x is of course just parentheses ln x to the second power and that's equal to ln 10. Be really careful though. You cannot put the 2 to the front because this right here, it's not the same as ln of x squared. If you have the square to the x, then yes, we can put the 2 to the front by the natural log property. But this means ln x times ln x. This means ln of x times x. So they are different. So, to solve for the x right here, we are going to get rid of the square first. And to do so, we're just, we are just going to take the square roots on both sides. And natural log could be negative, so remember right here, just like always, when we take the square roots on both sides, attach the plus or minus, and we have to take them into we have to take both of them into consideration. And we're just going to leave it like that. And then we have ln of x equals plus or minus square root of 10. Ln 10. And then finally, remember we can just do that. So I will just say e to that power and e to that power, and then they cancel. Ladies and gentlemen, x is equal to e to the plus or minus square root of ln 10 power like this. Yeah, we are done. For more examples like this, check out my playlist over there.